Is everybody alive? Yes, okay. I wasn't sure what state I was gonna find everybody in. You know, it's dark, so... You know what? Uh, no, I, I think this is still fine. But like, where are they? Unless I need to like, reset the area? I don't know. How picky about nighttime is this gonna be? Oh man, that was a long transition. It, it's nighttime. Where are they? Huh? Do I need to talk to the director again? I don't know. Well, it says there's one of it for, for uh, Director Pompadour and the nurse. Thank you for the visit, Miss Kit. Good friend of mine, I've been telling you of your recent exploits. Uh, this is... This is old news. Boy, you probably got a lot of Enchkan to go through. <laughs> Giant Pompadours. Oh, Pompadours, I see. They suspect this much. I don't see her calling in the Academy Smills doing supporting such a style. Could it be then that the Pompadours already has stayed in the sun? Perhaps I would consider a change of wig. Ah, uh, that is to say, never mind. Thank you for your insight. This is most enlightening. <sighs> okay, that's awkward. Let's just... Not do that? What happens if I go to my dorm room? I literally have not been to my dorm room in how long? Sure. I don't know. I can't... I don't know why it's not uh, triggering Cassiopeia. You probably, have a, you probably have to trigger a bunch of events that you didn't do before. Oh, I hope not. Although it looks like there's only one in the nurse's office. So you should probably go to the nurse's office. I, I don't think I need to do schools related stuff. Well, it says there's an event in the nurse's office. Yeah, I know. I just don't think it's connected. I think it's just more of the teacher stuff. It's now raining. Oh my goodness. I would just trigger it anyway, because maybe the explanation mark will change. I don't like the fact that I have to walk over to one of these to actually do that, though. Come on in, everyone's welcome in the nurse's office. Okay, I'm glad you're here. I have some good news. You're not gonna believe this, but I passed the health teacher certificate exam. Congratulations. Thank you so much. I saw you pushing yourself real hard with your treasure hunt, and that really inspired me. Of course, most of the credit for my success goes to my own hard work, though. <laughs> Thanks for giving me the push I need to try again. You know what? I'll take that. But they told me there's no room to add new classes this year. So I guess I'll keep being Nurse Miriam for a bit. Just you wait though. I'll be sitting in front of the classes. Kind of me before you know it. They'll teach you all you need to know about health. I bet I'll make a great teacher. I can't wait to see you in my class. I bet you will tell me all about health. I never had any good experiences with health classes. No, but just cleared it. Uh, 
Hmm. Did the objective marker changed. It didn't. Oh, what? That's so weird. Why is that? Hmm? Okay, so apparently I am supposed to be in here. I just missed the fact that it's a schoolyard here. Thanks for coming. You don't really need to do the whole hoodie thing. Your Eevee kind of gives it away. <laughs> and the fact you're always the wrong place. Must be quite a shock to you. Not really. It's especially not really for me because I actually found out about this. This was one of the things I got spoiled on. Thank you, you. Uh, they were both me all along. And I saw you make quick work of the Team Star Lackeys outside school that time. The idea for Operation Starfall suddenly came to me. My skills let me get hold of much LP as I want, so I decided to use it to tempt you into helping me out. After the operation started, I kept it on you as a member of the supply unit. And I had to battle the bo I had you battle the bosses on my behalf. All for the goal of defeating me and putting an end to Team Star once and for all. But still, there's part of me that wants Team Star to live on. I can't just roll over and let you win without putting up a fight. Yeah, you can. You still want to. This is the final showdown. Are you ready? I, I, as ready as I'll ever be, I guess. I'm not sure if I will win this. This might actually be bad. Lara, apology, Miss Time had me, or I mean, preparation took longer than I expected. The voice. Are you Clive? Hey, so what is your... Uh, no, I mean... So you, Cassiopeia. In the flesh. I have a task for you, Clive, if you'll accept it. I want you to record what happens next so I can send the video to Team Star. And you see the outcome of this battle for themselves. Uh, okay, will do. Time to pull out my rotophone! <laughs> Let me introduce myself properly. I'm the big boss of Team Star. My name's Cassiopeia. No. Penny. I bow down before the overwhelming might of Team Star's founder. Okay, Edgelord. Alright. Oh, yeah! She has a team of Eevees, doesn't she? Or rather, Evolutions. B baby doll eyes, really? On a level 62 Umbreon? Sucks. Yeah, I'm not sure what to do because I don't think I have anything good on this Umbreon. I don't even know what type Umbreon is. Dark. It's dark type. What did I use on the Dark Team Star? Gosh, that was so long ago. Did I brute force that? This is gonna make Link squishy, but at least the Umbreon's gone. Oh. 
All right, what's next? Flareon. Okay. All right, Barracuda. This is not going to do much. Oh, well, it did a bit. Oh, no, that didn't actually kill. Uh, I'm going to kill. It shouldn't be able to finish me off. Yeah, okay. Did it just faint self? Yeah, yeah, it did. Okay. Sure. Jolteon. That's so weird to uh, E evolution and have baby doll eyes this late. You know what's sad? I think this is an easier fight because all evolutions are monotype. <laughs> Makes it easier to remember what works. At least. I grabbed the wrong Pokemon again. Gosh darn it. How do I keep doing that? Yeah, you should know exactly what to use against Rule 34. Alright, Jalapeno, hopefully you can handle one attack. Okay, okay. That's fine. Lynx, get back out here. Because Lynx has pretty high speed, I uh, know I'm gonna outspeed this. This is what I need Pepper C for. I have a guess as to what they're gonna end with. Yeah. 
Yep, that's what I thought. Sylvian is her ace. I have no idea why, and maybe it's because I'm really tired by this point, because of how long we've been going, but I am struggling to remember what works on fairy type. It's poison, right? Poison and steel. Right, 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 okay. Petrodotoxin, you are finishing this fight off. And I'm going to hazard guess that she is probably going to terrestrialize Solion. At this point, why not? Oh, whoa! Her Solion's female! That's cool! It's probably going to be Mono Fairy after this, which is not going to help. Yep. Yep. I am do not outspeed this, which I'm not surprised. But honestly, the Sylveon shouldn't be able to do really anything to me, I believe. <laughs> okay. Sure. I think you're still... Oh, I actually did. That did, did uh, make it so I couldn't two-shot you necessarily. Though I think you're definitely too shotable now that you have poisoned. Oh, maybe not. Nah. All right. It's just keeps hitting baby doll eyes. It's so weird. It's all over now. It's finally over, guys. It's done. Damn straight. Time for another flashback. We're done here. I think we should call it quits. Hold up. Are you saying we should break up the team? You gotta be joking. We got carried away with Operation Star. Now everything's gotten out of hand. Yeah, well, that's what happens when you round up a bunch of bullies in the courtyard and make a show of learning them some airs. Yeah. But we didn't even fight them in the Sorry. end. We didn't do anything wrong. Indeed. Merely did we declare an intention to battle tooth and nail should the villains persist in their tyrannous oppression. It was a blowless victory, we assure you. Yeah, they didn't even send out their Pokemon. They just blubbered and apologized a whole lot. Our outfits must have spooked them good. But the bullies made a huge stink about what went down, and then they all ended up leaving the academy. Our plan backfired epically. There's no way we're getting off scot-free. I guess you're right. This little stun might have put us up the creek. I'll fix this mess on my end. Just leave it to me. What are you saying? I'm the one who started Team Star. I dragged you all into this. So I'll take responsibility for everything. Oh, noble and kind boss. You cannot. Now that the blades are gone, you guys should start going to school again. Oh yeah? And what about you? I can't go back. Why? There's no reason for you to stay shut in your room anymore, right? 
All I can say to you guys is thanks. Even though we never met in person, you were also kind to me. Stop it right there, BB. Why are you talking like we'll never speak again? I need to go take care of some things. Oh, that's getting spilled. Pray they speak to us. What is thine intent? Hey, big boss, answer us. Bye bye, guys. Thanks for anything. Honestly, I am kind of surprised she didn't get expelled. Because, like, being sent off overseas is not something that would normally happen. Thanks for everything, Kit. And you too, Clive. I'm glad I could see this through to the end. I guess this is it for Team Star. And me too. Hold that thought, Miss uh, Penny. I'd like to check oh, yeah, something God. with your first. Check what? I resort to something like Operation Starfall if you're the big boss of Team Star. There's not any other way to handle this. I tried telling the boss that we were done once before, but they still didn't quit. And that's simply ordered them to. Our code stated no one in the team has the right to order people around. I could ask them all to do stuff, but I can never order them. So it's back to code once again. The bosses must have taken it very seriously. They did. That's why I knew I could use the force team to start to disband. Because the bosses do anything to code require them. Even leave the team? Yes. And according to the code, they had to accept any challenge made by them. Thus, the idea for Operation Surfall. Cassiopeia, let me ask you one thing. What does Team Star know? What do your friends and teams mean to you? They're... They're my greatest treasure. Splendid. Thank you for apprising me of the situation, Miss Penny. What? Now, young lady, there's something I should very much like to discuss with you. Hey, quit it with the old geezer at Clive. You're creeping me out. That's Indeed. The only one. Well, then, before we talk further, allow me to reveal to you my own secret identity. Oh my goodness, not this again! No. Director Clavel! Are you really that stupid? Just as Cassiopeia was your disguise, the boy you knew as Clive was mine. Oh, it doesn't work! It just doesn't work! But why? You need a way to talk to Team Star on equal terms. Students do tend to shy from speaking their mind to their teachers. After all, much more so when faced with the director of the academy. Yeah, but where do I even start? Wasn't the outfit a bit much? Unless I have my own feelings about that wig. Even the cat just like, nah. Oh, Sash, what? What? Here. <laughs> She's not having it. Come here! Here! Okay, fine. Well, that's quite enough for that now. Everyone, why don't you come on out? Oh, he had them all there to watch in person, didn't he? Huh? Yo, Big Boss! Like time to see! Oh. More like long time no meet, right? I mean, we only found out your real name just now. Millie. Barely as long as we're in kind of sight to for sore eyes, my lady. Atticus. So, um, I heard your real name's Penny. How you been this whole time? Morty. I found you at last. I have no idea how worried we've been. Airy. Okay, gang. On the count of three. One, two. Hasta la vista, Cassiopeia. And hello, Penny. Oh, it's so cringe. 
It's so good. It is. It's so bad. It is. Now then, Miss Penny, I need you, you young bosses, as well. On behalf of the Academy, I have something I would like to say to Teen Star. You all have my sincerest apologies. Come again. As director of the Academy, I led you down. My handling of your situation was a dismal failure. What? I still don't... I mean... Why? You all tell me about your reason for farming too sorry about your subsequent actions. Ever since my first day as the director, all I've ever experienced at Akami is an environment blessedly free from bullying. But I now know this piece was built on the backs of your hurt and anger, and of course, your immense courage in putting things to right. And so, I'll get straight to the conclusion. The Akami's order for Team Star to disband, and my threat to expel those who did not obey are hereby revoked. Does that mean what I think that it means? Indeed. Team Star can continue to exist. Should that be your wish? Woohoo! Penny, isn't this great? Now we can all stay together. Oh, my heart is giddy with glee. But, but, I betrayed all of you. You mean Operation Starfall? Director Clavel told us all about it. As far as we heard, you only went through with it to save us from being expelled. You're just worried about us, right? Not like we ever checked the team, because someone told us to, after all, in our style. Can't even imagine how you must have feared for us, Lady Penny. Sorry for making you worry, BB. We're all okay now. But, even so... Hold on, everyone. I have more to say. As previously stated, the requirement for Team Star to disband has been revoked. However, there are still some unsettled matters to discuss. Allow me to provide a few examples. You projected currency, your brazen customization of school uniforms, your unauthorized usage of academy equipment, your reckless modification jeopardized driving of Pokemon power vehicles. Need I go on? Your flagrant disregard for school rules cannot simply be overlooked. Busted. Thus, this punishment, you will be required to engage in community service. Community service? Yes, specifically, I'll be asking you to manage the STCs. And that stands for... The Star Training Centers. They shall be facilities for cultivating Pokemon trainer talents. I plan for the Academy to found them in collaboration with the Pokemon League. That doesn't even make sense. I, I don't know. <laughs> the idea came to me when I saw Miss Kit battling her way through your bases. The business construction as well as the battle tactics employed by the students in Team Star are remarkably unique and creative. They just laid a bunch of desks on their side and made a wall. Yep. I would ask that you continue your team activities, but henceforth the SCC staff members using your former bases as training facilities. And that is the summit. Does anyone have any concerns? Uh, no. It sounds like fun, so I don't see how this could be anything but a win-win. This may be a weird thing to say since the SEC are supposedly a punishment and all, but you should totally join in too, Penny. It's true. We would most happily have you at our sides, my lady. We could go to the school together too. That way, if anything happens, we'll be there to protect you. We're already talking about how great it'll be to have both Team Star and school in our lives. This would be a sweet deal for us. So, what do you say? You guys. Kit, what do you think? I think it sounds great. They're not being expelled. <laughs> yeah. Huh. But, but, um, I just... No need to give your response right this moment, Miss Penny. Do take some time to decide. For now, at least I think our little group should go their separate ways. Ah, uh, not to say you should break up Team Star after all. I simply mean it's time to leave. 
Yeah, something about the fact that it's the dead of night. Miss Kit, please stop at my office later if you would. Alright. Let's get off to the director's office. Not that he is there. Or at least it doesn't say he's there. No, he is there. Okay. Ah, oh, here you are, Miss Kit. I wanted to thank you for all your hard work in resolving the situation with Team Star. If it's not for you, I suspect I would have done the team a grievous injustice in my choice of punishment for their actions. You have my sincere gratitude. Who is this? Um, it's Penny. Ah, Miss Penny, do come in. P Hello, Director. About the STCs. I like to work on them together with the rest of Team Star. That's too close, I guess, you need. What? That sounds too close to STD. Oh. That's wonderful news. Thank you very much for your favorable response. But, uh, I, I should be punished more heavily than yours, I think. Why so? Because of Operation Starfall? No, not just that. Because of the other really bad thing I did. And what would that be? Um, you know the LP I gave you in exchange for helping me with Operation Starfall? Uh oh. I got a hell of it sort of illegally by hacking the Pokemon League's LP management system. Ah, uh, Penny! Ah! Uh. <laughs> just, just a little bit. J just a little bit. Just a wee bit of hacking. Ah, uh, I see. That is quite the revelation. I don't think such a thing was even possible in the first place. It wasn't after all, all that hard. I mean, or, I, I really sorry and I won't do it again. Hmm, this matter is rather out of my jurisdiction, I'm afraid. I'd like to consult Miss Gita, the Pokemon League chairwoman, on how best to proceed. I figured as such. I do apologize, Miss Kit, but I will have to ask you to give us some privacy. Do I have to give up the LP <laughs> points? Do I have to? That even work. Now what do I do? 